everyone welcome back to my craft room if you're new to my craft room then welcome today I'm working on a project that I actually was starting last year and I'm trying to organize my craft room again because after each holiday it seems like I just have a mess of everything everywhere but I wanted to make make this little beach like shadow box and a friend of mine actually a wonderful subscriber that lives in Florida sent me a whole bunch of, of seashells and I started working on this last year, and then, well, the idea I had just did not work out. But what I'm going to use is one of these frames from the Dollar Tree. Now, you know what these um, are. They have, like, different kinds of writing on them, and on the glass or whatever. And there was no backs on these. But um, I just took, like, a razor blade and the letters scrape right off, so you can use these for whatever you want to use them for. And they have the little spots on the back to hang it up when you're finished. And I have a whole bunch of these shells here that Peggy sent me from Florida that I wanted to use. And then, and I got, actually I got this one from Hobby Lobby, a little starfish. But she just sent me these beautiful shells. So anyway, what I'm going to do to make the back of this um, frame, I took a piece of this foam board. Now, you know, they have these really big sheets of this at the Dollar Tree. And, you know, it's a nice thick foam board, and I wanted something kind of thick to put on the back to support this. And then I just took, I just cut it out. It's the seven inch, everything's so dirty. I have stuff everywhere in here right now. Ugh, I'm going to have to cover that up when it's done. Anyway, it's a seven inch square I cut out. And then I had from a paper pad that I had from Michael's, I had this pretty paper that I just cut out a seven inch square. Sort of. It came out a little crooked. But I tried to cut this the foam board just with a, um, you know, a razor blade. I can't think today. Like an X-Acto knife. There you go. And uh, my ruler. But it just still did not come out perfectly straight. But it's fine because you're not going to see it from the back. And then I have these stickers that I got at the Dollar Tree that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to write my beach on here. And I thought this would be cute if you go to the beach, you know, and pick up some cute little shells this would be a great way to like display them so I am just going to add my letters up here and work from there so just I gotta kind of turn it here so I can see if I'm level hopefully I get this somewhat even I forget, I'm just gonna put my beach it's a rainy dreary ugly day again today so I'm not gonna get to do a lot of the things that I wanted to do I need to shampoo my carpets is what I need to do, but you know what, when it's it's going to be raining now, I think, through the entire weekend. Alright, so this one I'm going to start with the A, so hopefully I'll get these even. Let's make a cute little gift for someone, you know. When you come back from the beach, I mean, you can have a saying in here. You don't have to. You can have it say whatever you want it to. <clears throat> I like these letters. These are really cute. I bought two packs of these. I wish I would have grabbed more because I haven't seen them again, but... I mean, if you can't get them at the Dollar Tree, you can get these letters like at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or something. Or you could just print out a cute little saying. It's coming out pretty even. There. So that's where I have little, my little My Beach right there. Now what I did for the last one, I wanted to have sand in here. And what I did was I added the sand and, you know, kind of laid it down and then arranged everything on here that I wanted. But after I got it glued together, the sand had made like a really dusty film on the inside. And once you put it all together, you can't clean it. So we're not going to do it that way this time. This time I'm just going to take some Mod Podge. And I have uh, some of the sand from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to glue on some sand to the paper. And hopefully that will look just as good. I'm trying to find something to put underneath this to catch my sand real quick. Oh, here, I have another piece of this uh, 
poster board here I can use for a second. Oh, there's my Rosie in the background again. All of the, um, those little, we call them helicopters that come off the maple trees, they are flying around like crazy today because it's windy. And every time we have a good gust of wind, it looks like a snowstorm out, and she just starts screaming like crazy. All right, so I'm just going to take my brush. I love to use these brushes. I'm going to put this on a little bit thick. And just kind of, you know, draw a beach here. You know, in my mind, that looks like waves coming in. Make sure I'm in. So I'm just going to put this on here, and of course we're going to have to let this dry for a while. But you know, for you guys it's only like a second. Because I want to have quite a bit, ugh, big clump. I want to have quite a bit of sand on here, I don't want it real thin. Alright. Water here. And I'm just going to take some of this sand and one of my handy dandy little dishes from the Dollar Tree. I love these. I use these for everything, I swear. And I'm just going to pour the sand on top of it, just like you were, would be doing glitter or something. that down a little bit. And if it's not enough, I mean after it dries real good, I can I can add a little bit more. But you know what? I don't want it on the edge. Just thought of that. Alright. Oh I think that'll be great. Okay. But what I do want to do is get this off my edge because it's not going to fit nice in the frame. And I think that should be fine. I hope. Alright, let me grab my frame here, because there's really not much of a lip on here. Yeah, that should be just fine. Alright. Brush off some of this sand. Alright, let me get this out of the way. <clears throat> Hope I don't dump my sand everywhere. Because I will clean all that up while I'm waiting for this to dry. Okay. So now I'm just going to take um, my shells here. I just hot glue them on. I think I want this one on the, this way because I love the way it, the underneath of it looks. So I'm just going to glue them on there. They're very pretty shells. She sent me so many. I love all of them. I think I want that one right here. Alright, so I'm just going to place these down here to give you guys an idea so you don't have to watch me glue every one of these shells on. So many pretty shells. I want this big one over here. I don't know. I may move them around afterwards. Not crazy about that one on here. But I have some of these cute little ones like these. 
and they're just all so pretty. So I'll probably glue a few down here on the sand too. Oops. I think that's going to be super cute. All right, so I'm just going to finish playing around here, figure out where I want to stick all of my pretty shells. I need a whiter one in here. And then I'll come back and finish this up. Okay, here it is. It's drying here still. It's pretty, getting pretty dry. So now my frame, it's kind of just blah. I mean, I, if you wanted, you could you know, maybe carefully spray paint it or something. But I thought, you know, I'm doing the beach, so why not use some of the nautical rope that I have from the Dollar Tree? Or you can get rope, you know, somewhere else. It doesn't have to be called nautical rope. I got a knot in it. And I'm just going to put this I got a glue web on here, and I didn't even glue on this. See, I can get glue webs anywhere. All right. I am just going to glue this around the edge of this frame here. Let's see, let me, try, let me get this out of here before I knock it down. All right, that's what I'm saying. I am so unorganized right now. Too many things going on at one time. All right. So I'm just going to start on the bottom edge here. Just want it, you know, just so it's up towards the glass. I'm hoping this is going to bend nice for me because I really don't want to cut it and try to piece it together. I do love the model group. I really didn't think I was going to, you know, care for it so much, but I'll tell you, it really does add a lot to different things that you're making. It bent pretty well, so I was thinking if it didn't bend nice, I was going to have to cut it in different sections. Let's give it a bend before we glue it down. <clears throat> there we go. It's going on very nicely. And I'm going to have to cut that off. All right. This stuff's kind of hopefully these are my good scissors. Tiny bit more off of there. There we go. So put some glue on the ends here. Of course, I'm running out of glue when I get to the last little spot here. All right. Put a little glue here, and I'm going to put some on the end so it doesn't come undone. Just gonna tuck that in there. Just like so. There. And there is our little nautical frame. It just looked very too, you know, just blah, just black. And I don't know how I was I mean I do like to take things out and spray paint them, but with this weather I can't even do anything this week. And 
and yeah I'm not quite sure how I would do this because you really can't get it apart well you could but I'm afraid they have screws so I'm afraid once I took the screws out to take it apart that it wouldn't go back together nicely all right so I'm going to make sure I know where my little hooks are I have no glue on the inside all right so here's my little hanger here which one I like the best. All right, I think it's going to go this way. So now all I'm going to do is turn this over here, and I have some of these. I'm going to use E6000 on this because I was going to do it with hot glue, but I'm afraid the glue is going to cool before I get it exactly how I want it. So I'm going to glue it in with a little bit of E6000. It's not going to take much of this stuff to hold it together at all. I like these little tubes. I get these at Michael's. Um, they're just easier to work with with small things like this. Plus, my big one's constantly getting clogged, no matter what I do. So I'm just going to put a little bit of E6000 in here. Not a ton. And you know this stuff, you have to kind of let it dry overnight. or I mean, something like this I'm sure will be fine by the next day. Or you could use the clear glue, Gorilla Glue. I should have used that. I haven't tried that on stuff like this yet. But this stuff, you know, B6000 really smells. But it does the job, that's for sure. All right. That away. And now all we need is our little beachy picture here. And actually, I'm just going to down on top of it. Stand up here so I can see what I'm doing. All right, and there it went right in. Yay! Oh, it's a little glue gooing out. Oh, I don't like that. Oy. All right, Try to pop this out of here real quick. A little too much glue I had up on the top. There, that's better. Got rid of that glue glob. And if you're giving this away or something, you might want to uh, put something on the back to make it a little more pretty because it's just, you know, your white foam board. But look at that, I think that's adorable. So I'm going to hang this up here so you don't have to look at it with all of my mess around. And look how cute it looks. Uh, see how cute it looks. I can't talk again today. Hanging up on the wall. Alright guys, there it is, hanging up on the wall. Um, this would be perfect on a shelf because these are really wide. So they would just stand up on a shelf nicely. But, you know, if you don't want to worry about it getting knocked over because it is glass. So, I think it came out super cute. And I can't wait to add this out there to my... I'm going to put something in the living room when I made that little votive candle holder with the beachy theme to it. So I think that'll look really cute with that. So, thanks for watching everybody. I'm glad I finally got this project finished after almost a year. And I uh, thought I'd share it with you. So, see you guys all next time. Have a great day everybody.